And when, when we talk about parental alienation, I, I almost want to change that term a little bit because it's really brainwashing and parental poisoning. Per, that the, when one parent will poison a child against another parent, teach that, weaponize the he child, weaponize. teach the child to hate yes. a parent for no reason. Exactly. And this happens far too often, uh, way more often than what we, what we realize. And it's very effective and it happens and it's child abuse at the same time. Yeah. And, and I know that there are people that have said this should be criminal behavior. Yeah, we haven't I'm, seen I'm a nurse, licensed in New York and in Texas. I take care of neonatal children. It is heartbreaking when I have to discharge some of these neonatal babies to their sometimes abusive homes Homes where domestic violence happened in the hospital, homes to parents with addictions and criminal records, and yet I am losing my children with no due process. Yes. And I'm, I'm trying to be a giving public servant to this community that's turned their back on me. It's very frustrating. Oh, it's more than frustrating. It's maddening. And how could I not be hysterical? How can you not label me hysterical or combative when my civil rights to due process has been taken away from me? Yeah. I've had temporary orders now for what, two years? Going on two years. We haven't the seen case was closed because of no merit on my, 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 my ex-husband's accusations, but yet the temporary orders still stand. So. It has enabled that time away from my children further and further. Um, last year, when the temporary orders were placed, the judge says, you all can alternate your holiday time. My ex-husband said he had them for Thanksgiving. Detective Steve Maggie. Nagy was there and said, okay, I just wanna make sure you're clear. So alternating holidays and first, third, and fifth weekend from 50-50 custody. And as I recall, you were the person that was advocating for 50-50 so that yeah, your yes. ex-husband would not yeah. be kicked out of the kid's life. Yes. Right, exactly. And now yeah. he's taken yeah. that and tried to use it against you. Yeah. Yes. yes, so this Thanksgiving, which would have been my turn, my ex told my son, my oldest, that no, that <laughs> that's not what the order stated, even though the judge said something, that's not what the order stated. So we don't have them for Thanksgiving. And this has happened for more holidays than I can count when he just broke court orders or just refuses the to co-parent. Their birthdays. birthdays. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, just a few, holidays, about a month ago. Extended weekends. Being a disabled veteran, um, my children are entitled to what's called the Hazelwood Act. Mm -hmm. Hazelwood the Act. The Hazelwood Act. Mm -hmm. Here in Texas, <clears throat> where they pretty much get to go to any state school, university. For free. For free. Mm -hmm. Doesn't include tuition or, or um, boarding, but it's still a big chunk. And I sacrificed all that I could so that they can have benefits, and you know, and if and then got injured. So if that's a result, I would like for my children to reap that. Um, my ex got wind of it and poisoned my child, and started telling him on the phone and through text because my son showed me where it said. Ask your mom where she, you know, she's going to pay for college. Why isn't she paying for child support or health benefits? Now, my children have CHAMP VA and dental because of my status as a disabled American veteran. Mm -hmm. so that, it's just yeah, poisoning. So it's, poisoning. Yeah, he, told, he told the oldest that, that uh, she hasn't been paying. But she has. But those aren't the court yeah, orders. Exactly. I mean, the those court aren't temporary no, orders. But, but she's providing the coverage that she's right. supposed to cover. Right. The responsibility. And I to always cover. have. And when she wanted to sit there and, and sit down with her son to uh, put in an application for college, you know, fill out the application just to do something with her son, that type of thing, it was taken away right away because he called, he got um, his, father, his father to sit there and tell him that you know what, you're not going to be doing anything. We're going to do the college stuff. So you know what, don't he, do anything with He told my son that I could not be trusted. For what? It's college applications. Where is yeah. such a trust issue with yeah. college applications? Yeah, and I, I want to talk about something here because outside of the Rockwall Courthouse, and I was I lived in Rockwall at the time when they dedicated the, uh, there's a, like a small park or monument yeah. to yeah. the veterans yes. down there. Yeah. And um, 
And you know, it's amazing how on the outside of the courthouse, they have this thing to the veterans and you know, we love our veterans and everything else. Inside of the courthouse, I have <laughs> said it is, a, it is a den of iniquity. It is, yeah. a, a, it is a courthouse of injustice. They, we honor our veterans out here and we oh, kick them to the curb of everything else and we disrespect them and we yeah. spit on them. Exactly. We treat them yeah. like they were baby killers or something like that inside the courthouse, inside Judge yeah. David Rakow's courtroom. And, and not that, just his, because you know, there's other courtrooms there too. But I, and I've and seen yet it. I still leave that courthouse beaten down and destroyed and I still go back to being a nurse. With, with, a, with, a, a with a with a with a with a clean record, right? And this is something. That I